Please work, please work, please work, yes! Oh, the day has finally come. Are you guys ready for this? Who wants to go from a hot dog to a pancake? There we go. Suck it. Suck all of it. Oof. Mm, ow. Ooh, what? What? Wait, what? What? Oh. <laughs> what just happened? No. 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 Not Chinatown. Anywhere but Chinatown. Why did I land in shark waters? No. What's up guys, welcome back to Just Die Already. The only game that revolves entirely around hurting the people you hate. Yes, I know we hate the hipster who keeps playing bongo during our intro stand, but sometimes we also hate ourselves. I'm the kind of player that definitely tries to do a little bit of both at the same time. Oh, okay, that did not go according to plan. I mean, we're both hurt, but I wanted to blow up in the sky, not get raked onto the train tracks. Oh no, not like this. No, usually the guy wearing the top hat is the one to tie somebody up and put them on the train tracks, not get trained themselves. <laughs> and the bongo guy lives on. I hate everything. I really hope you're proud of yourself. And don't slowly turn away. Look me in my nips. I'm gonna slap that bongo out of your arms using my dick if I have to. Okay, rude. I really can't put into words just how paranoid I am standing on this sidewalk. I knew it! No, 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 no. Hold on, ladies, ladies, I I had the hat in my hand. Did, did you really need to go and do that? Okay, hold on, take it from the top. Like I was trying to say. Okay, how about we take a couple of steps into the compound? But some of you guys might remember over the past couple episodes, we've been uncovering some very painful secrets in these neighborhoods. But apparently, this angry women's cult still has something to offer us. Other than torso exploding slaps, which we don't need to worry about anymore because I'm wearing a disguise. Which I guess means that they think I'm one of their own now. I never really thought about that, but like, you gotta wonder how the Fez is managing to pull that one off. I'd be willing to bet I missed something in their inner sanctum, come to think of it, because like, just getting up to this point using nothing but a fire extinguisher and a butthole propeller and a fart backpack was one of the most frustrating experiences I have ever had on camera. But now, all I really need to worry about is blowing up the roof without blowing myself up. Did you guys know that C4 is dangerous? That was a rhetorical question. I know you know, because hundreds of people mocked me last time for underestimating this thing. When in all reality, the bombs in this game don't make any sense. Like, you could have one that's the size of a yoga ball, meanwhile it's about as volatile as a water balloon. But this little tiny brick of C4 feels like it's ready to turn a neighborhood to glass. And I'll show you what I mean. If I toss it down, like, right about here in the middle, I take some steps back, I'm off the roof, you would think that I'm within a safe distance. But evidently not. I was actually kind of hoping that I would be able to prove people wrong and survive there, but it blew me up again. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll take the L. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if you want advice about high explosives, don't ask butt cheeks. So we've already gotten the rocket ship key from up here, but we never did figure out what this Harambe Memorial dinner plate on the floor is for. Or why you're here. Like, I don't even understand why people are trapping Danny DeVito-sized praying mantises to begin with. Like, it's not a pet. You can't keep it as a part of the family. You can't toss it into a Christmas card. The only thing this should be tossed into is a wood chipper. Well, other than the strange mix of dragon and prison decor, there isn't exactly a whole lot else going on up here, so it must be that these two things are somehow linked to one another. I have to be able to do something with them. Oh, you know what? I might be focusing a little bit too much on monkey and not enough on the fact that it looks like some kind of sacrificial Incan altar. <laughs> so maybe I actually do want you to tear me apart? It's all you do. I don't think you're gonna hug me. <laughs> all right, is that good? Oh, here we go. All right, I'm filling it up, but we might need more. Keep it coming. There we go. That's the good stuff. Arambe is pleased, I assume. 
Please tell me I'm not just bleeding all over the place for no freaking reason. <laughs> There's gotta be good reason for this. Ooh, I got a mask. Are you kidding me? You, that's what you're gonna give me when I'm in this state? <laughs> it's like giving running shoes to a paraplegic. What is wrong with you? Well, it's a good thing jetpacks are easier to find in vending machines than Pineapple Crush. Otherwise, I'd be losing my damn mind right about now. But we should be able to get back up here no problem. Now, give me my demon mask. I definitely worked for it. I just have to equip it and... Oh, I... I what? I'm sorry, did my jetpack just have an allergic reaction to a demon because it wasn't wearing any kind of bracelet? I'm guessing you stand out here all day working for tips? Here's a tip, don't piss off the devil. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's not quite what I was hoping for. Is he really not gonna die from this? <laughs> Come on, you have got to be kidding me. He's fine. I, I thought for sure we would at least have skin grafts. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on, let's just... No, I just wanted to delay. I wanted to delay him enough so that he would be on the train track. Get up, Stan, Stan, get up, Stan. No, not like this. No, okay, wait, we're fine. We're, we're fine. We're, suck it, suck it, train. Yeah, that's right. So can give you the Homelander treatment. Oh, no. I can't even blow up the train. What kind of piss baby lasers are these? Yeah, that's right. I'm the bongo boy now. I don't think he likes my music. Can you believe this? Are you serious? Yo, you're the one who's being pissed off by the bongos now, huh? Well, how about you take some of that? Oh, no, no, not like this. I can't even put myself out because I'm eternally trapped by the bongos. Oh, oh, I thought he got run over by the train. He ran into a cactus, though. This might actually go our way for once. Come on, Stan, finish him. There we go, we got him right where we want him. Finish, finish him off. Oh my, you're really bad at this. You are kind of screwing this up. What's going on over here? Is this a bank? I don't think I can make a bongo withdrawal. Did he just disappear? I'm, I'm genuinely wondering, wait, what the? Did he just reappear? Ow, okay, I didn't think I was gonna get dummied by a whale today. I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. I also think the game is having a seizure. Yeah, Stan, just just stay down. I don't suppose I got really lucky in that this isn't a bank. It's actually an optometrist. Or even a blood bank would work, to be perfectly honest. Let's see what's going on back here. Maybe we can uh, find a whole bunch of nothing. They just got a break room and a plant. I feel like I need this plant for something. I've seen strange colored plants around, but I don't know what for. Oh, maybe I could put it in the juicer? Yeah, let's try that. If, if I take you and I put you in here, or maybe I can jump in there? <laughs> I'd be willing to. Come on, why does this thing not work? Oh, that was a bit of a waste. No, I wanted to, I wanted to put it in the juicer. This, I swear, this is like trying to thread a needle with a noodle. So much for that idea, but you better believe I'm gonna get my revenge against this blubber butt. <laughs> he is waddling away. What? You gonna go play on the merry-go-round? <gasps> I kind of expected him to burst into flames and then pop like a, a corn kernel. Not for it to just smell like somebody prepared bacon with their feet. Where are you going? <gasps> I'm not done with you yet. <gasps> I'm gonna find a way to fry your ass. Okay, when I said I was gonna fry him, I didn't actually mean like chicken. <laughs> All right, well that works for me, I suppose. Can I st I, so I'm gonna figure out a way to blow this thing up one day. Like C4, where can I get more C4? The bad news is I wasn't able to get any C4, but the good news is I was able to get something that's a little bit more thematic for blowing up a train. <laughs> and it should come over here and stop. Which means I should be able to toss this stuff in. Yeah, you're open enough. <laughs> so let's just uh, get you to stop. Stop! Oh no, it's gonna turn around. No, don't, don't turn around. Just kind of take, take, take that. Get off the train stand. Get off the friggin' train stand, Ron. Okay. And the train didn't even flinch. 
I punched my ticket straight to the graveyard, though. I am gonna outbongo you someday, just you wait. Don't slowly turn away from me. Look me in my... Uh, nips? Look me in my nips. I know what you guys are probably thinking. Why are you humping the back of that car? And it's because if I hold on to it, then I'm thinking once it jostles itself free and exerts its dominance over others, then okay, no, this is not what I signed up for at all. <laughs> thinking I'd be able to get a free trip around town, but instead I just got turned into a man crab. I left this place like 15 minutes ago, so that's not my blood. I guess I really shouldn't be surprised to find blood in an angry women's cult. <laughs> Funny enough, I think there's one more thing here that I may have missed. You guys were telling me that I need to go back down to the hidden dojo. Uh, apparently there's like a, a secret compartment or something like that. I didn't really think that there was a whole lot down here at all. You know, we found the mask, which was pretty sweet. It made me go invisible. That comes in handy a whole lot. I, I think there was like a katana and maybe a couple other things, but it's a small space. So how did I miss something? Hey, we got the katana. We've got the mask. We've got... Uh, what I can only describe as boxes full of butt beads. Not gonna touch those, but... Oh, of course! Right, because these are doors. Japanese doors? Um... Oh, no! <laughs> this is what you wanted me to do? Really? Why am I on fire all of a sudden? <laughs> is it because... I was admiring the doggo poster. Did I really get hot and bothered over that? <laughs> I, I can't believe this is what the episode has devolved into. Honestly, is this supposed to be a samurai dojo or, or some kind of weeb dungeon? Because if I have to put one of these things on, then I guess I'm just gonna go with green. Oh no, I actually can put it on. <laughs> I hate it so much. Oh, we get the shoes and everything? You gotta be kidding me right now. All right, well, I guess we're gonna go all out. We definitely don't want to half-ass things. <laughs> Come on, just get to get the shoes. It's not that hard, Stan. The, the, the paws go on your feet, and then the other paws go on your hands, and, and there you go. Self-respect goes out the window. It's times like these where I have to say, just don't ask how Stan got to this point, okay? All you really need to know is I can press F to yiff. Now, I was under the impression that yiffing was when people dress up like this and then bang one another. I don't think that's gonna happen. I hope that's not gonna happen because I'm pretty sure this big guy could wear me like a sock. <laughs> All right, F to yiff. I'm yiffing, but nothing's happening. We need to get closer. Come on, guy, do you want to yiff? I can smell you from here. What is happening? I, I can swing at him. Okay, so I can pick a fight, but I can't yiff. <laughs> yeah, you know what? This is probably for the best. I think this might be the creepiest I have ever felt in my entire life. I am nut to butt with this stranger hammering on F to yiff, and yet nothing is happening. I get some, like, weird noise, but it, it's not working. Am I supposed to get your attention? Would you like to yiff? Take that as a no. There's a chance I could be wrong and that I should just look up the definition of yiff, but to be perfectly honest, I don't want that in my Google search history, so I'm just gonna become roadkill. I feel like that's the best way out of this situation. I think I may have found something, and it's not a shallow furry grave. It, it, it looks like some kind of poorly hidden tunnel. The only problem is it's on hot dog gang territory and we aren't on good terms. Maybe we'll just keep things low key, you know? If, if we could manage to jostle this stuff around a little bit, then they won't notice. Okay, so far so good, Stan. I know stealth isn't exactly your strong suit, neither is working your hands, but we should be able to slip down through there. Perfect. Okay, what have you got for us? And knock, knock. It's uh, another old man in a tunnel. Have I been here before? I feel like I've been here before, but at the same time, 
I would definitely remember somebody mounting an octopus. Whether that be taxidermy or for breeding. Listen, I'm sure you've got a whole bunch of really important things to tell me. Like, what's the deal with the bondage squid? But it doesn't interest me. I just want your secret weapon. I'm gonna be taking this and... Oh, it's a squid gun. Oh, it's an exploding squid gun. Well, you could have taken the time to explain that much to me. Come on, man. Why is it I always find weapons with triggers as soon as I lose my hands? So is there a way for me to free Mama? Or am I supposed to just leave her here? She doesn't seem to want to have anything to do with these kids. And you don't seem to want anything to do with any of this either. So how am I supposed to get out of here? Can I blow this up, I wonder? No. Is there anything behind the crates? There's got to be a way out. I don't think I can fly my way out. I'm really good at breaking things, apparently, but... I, I honestly don't think I can escape with this thing. Because the jetpack doesn't really work when it comes to straight up. You, you just kind of get stuck on things and... No. No, I need this. I need this in my life. Come on. Oh, you meatheads are lucky that that weapon of squid destruction is stuck underground. Otherwise, I would use it to absolutely ruin you all. Let go of me. <laughs> they break every single bone in my body. I'm pretty much a slinky man at this point. Just let me slink away. There we go. All right. I see the tool of my revenge so long as they don't kick my ass while I'm down. Okay, Stan is recovering. We still have arms and we still have one foot, which means we should be able to drive this thing. Work, please work, please work, yes. Oh, the day has finally come. Are you guys ready for this? Who wants to go from a hot dog to a pancake? There we go. Suck it, suck all of it. Oof, mm, ow, ooh, what, what, wait, what, what? Oh. What just happened? No! 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 Not Chinatown! Anywhere but Chinatown! Why did I land in shark waters? No! Oh, come on! Alright, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Just Die Already, guys. I don't even know what this video was, to be perfectly honest, but please, if you want to see more, don't only just leave a like in the video, but leave a comment with an idea of what I can do, because I know there are a lot of secrets out there, but there aren't a lot of guides or hints or anything available for the game, so I don't know where to look, and I don't know if there's enough for another episode, so if you've played the game or if you've watched the game and you have some ideas, let me know, and then maybe I'll return to once again, become bobbing butt cheeks. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.